Hi and welcome to Cheeky Richo's Apricot Jam. Today we will be making the apricot jam in the Thermo Chef. You could of course make this on the stove top, but I will show you how simple it is to make in the Thermo Chef. The ingredients will be in the recipe box below, so let's get started. The first thing I'd like you to do is get a bread and butter plate and place it into the coldest part of your refrigerator or freezer. Then Organize enough jars to be able to contain the amount of jars of jam you intend to make. We're going to be using a lime in this recipe. Normally I would use a lemon, but I have a nice fresh little lime. And I'm going to show you a little hint on how to get the most juice out of the lime. You can pop it in the microwave for about 20 seconds and that will explode the membranes inside slightly and allow the juice to be released more easily. Or you can roll it on a board, like so until it's not squashed but you can see it's yielding to the touch and when you cut that open you will find that it just about explodes <laughs> the juice comes out quite easily so we're going to tip that straight into the Thermo Chef that one little lime has yielded about 50 grams of juice which is a significant amount given that it was really quite small now I've got hold of this new product from the store and it's called Jam Setting Sugar. I've not used it before, so it's going to be a mini product review of its capabilities as well. So into the Thermo Chef with our lime juice we go with that. And we're just going to warm this sugar slightly with the lime juice whilst we prep our apricots. So we're going to set the temperature to 37 degrees and the speed to 2 just for a minute or so while we prepare the apricots. Sugar has been warming and moistening slightly for about 4 minutes. It's, it's not hot, it's not even room temperature. And we're going to add our quartered, washed and de-seeded apricots. Now I like to have a bit of chunk left in my apricot jam and if you select apricots that are slightly underripe, still really quite firm, quite firm to the touch, you will find that they will make a better jam. Now we just pop all our apricots in there. As they start to get chopped up a little bit they will dissolve the sugar, the juice will dissolve the sugar and they will start to reduce. We're just going to blitz our apricots for a couple of seconds just to break up the lower ones and incorporate them with the sugar and make a bit of juice so that the sugar doesn't burn onto the bottom of the Thermo Chef bowl and it will start the cooking process of boiling the sugar and incorporating the fruit. You'll only need a couple of pulses at this speed and then we will turn the temperature on. This is what you have. Still quite chunky, but the juice is quite evident with some smaller pieces of apricot and now we're able to add the temperature. So we're going to put it to 90 degrees for 5 minutes on speed 2. After 5 minutes the bowl is quite hot, the juice is quite apparent with still some chunks. So we're going to scrape down the sides and make sure all of the sugar that is stuck to the side is drawn down into the juice. So you could use a wet pastry brush for this if you like, or a silicon brush, that's fine. But I find the silicon spatula or spoonula actually does a very adequate job. So just make sure everything's released, not caught around the blades anywhere at the bottom, which of course it shouldn't be, but just to be on the safe side. And we get on with our cooking process now. So the idea is to preserve some of this beautiful apricot colour. Of course some of the texture of the apricots and have it tasting like apricot jam, not just some nondescript sweet filling. So now we're going to set it to 100 degrees for another 10 minutes on speed 1 and just keep checking it that it doesn't catch on the bottom and make sure that there's no sugar stuck to it. Now we'll just scrape the sides down again. We're giving it another 20 minutes at 
100 degrees on speed one. The fragrance of the apricots is start, starting to emit from the bowl. Leave the top off at this stage. If it starts to splop a little bit, you can either put your basket on top like that so that it doesn't splash around the kitchen and make a mess and burn you. That will still allow the steam to escape. Or you can put your little measuring cup in sideways like so. Just let that do its thing at the moment. If it starts to bubble up a little bit, then put your measuring cup on to contain the steam. Now we're going to give it another 10 minutes on speed one at 100 degrees and pop our spatula in the centre and just give it a gentle push around occasionally to make sure that the floating solid pieces of fruit are sent down to the action end. After that 10 minutes, we are going to test it. This is a time when you should put your cold, wet, clean jars into the oven to sterilise them. Ten minutes has elapsed. Shake off any water, don't allow that to drop back in because that's going to dilute our jam. And this is what you should have. You'll still have some chunky pieces bubbly hot. Don't leave it without stirring it for any length of time. We've got our plate out of the refrigerator. We're just going to cup a couple of drops onto that. Allow the cold plate to set the jam and we're just going to keep this jam moving. It's starting to get a little thicker now but it's not nearly ready. Clean the plate off and pop it back into the refrigerator or the freezer. And back on for another 10 minutes, 100 degrees at speed. Our apricot jam is still quite bubbly hot. We're going to take a portion of it out. Just bring it right down from the bottom. Take a portion out onto our plate. Same thing, keep it moving. We do not want this to stick onto the bottom. Just keep it moving while we test our jam. It's not quite skinning yet, but it is thickening up. If you draw your finger through it, it holds the line. I'm going to give it another five to seven. Time to test our jam again. Just take a small sample of it. Same thing, lid on and keep it moving. Starting to skin. Still needs another seven or so minutes. Test our apricot jam again onto our cold plate. Still needs a little more time, but it is getting there. It's just starting to skin on the bottom edge. Okay, another 12 minutes has elapsed and we're going to test it again. So, it's, it's looking a lot more serious this time, but keep it moving. You do not want it to stick on the bottom. Okay, our jam has been on for another 10 minutes. We're just going to give it a test. It's looking very much like it wants to go into the bottle now. So, onto our cold plate, move it around a bit, and that's what you want to see. It's still quite hot, obviously. Perfect. Okay, in the bottles we go. We have a lot of jam here. Our bottles have been sterilised. The jug is really quite heavy. 
This is where the Thermo Chef comes into its own. Decanting the jam into the jars is generally a very dangerous thing to do. But if you're careful and you have a steady aim, you should be able to accomplish this without too much trouble. We have one jar too many, but better to have one too many than one too few because it's very difficult to go and organise another jam jar when you have miscalculated your quantities. Now, this has been running at 100 degrees and you can see into the bottom of the container that there is nothing stuck or burnt onto the bottom because you must keep these blades moving at all times to stop it from catching. If it does catch, the sugar will burn and the jam will definitely spoil. Now they are ready to have their lid go on them now. If you wanted to with the remaining apricots, you could go and throw in a glass of milk and a banana and make yourself a, a smoothie with some ice. And after all that work, you deserve it. I hope you enjoyed this little cheeky richo demonstration of fresh apricot jam. It's a truly delicious family treat. You've got enough jars there to give one to your neighbours or, or family, perhaps a gift for Christmas. If you'd like to see more interesting recipes and ideas, please check out my Cheeky Richo channel. And don't forget to give me a rating, a comment and subscribe. And do come back and visit us again soon. We have so much more to show you. Thank you very much for watching. Here we are with our bonus cook's treat. We've got the little bit of apricot jam that's left in there. Still a bit of heat in that bowl. Don't worry too much about that. In with a ripe banana. In with a scoop of ice. In with about... 45 grams of natural yogurt and a good pinch of cinnamon sugar. Make that two. Give that a good whiz. There you have it. A couple of seconds on blitz and you have a delicious apricot banana yogurt icy cold frappe. It's helped to clean the bowl, it's stopped you from wasting the leftover apricot jam and it's given you a really fruity treat. Enjoy!